We have a lot of people locally employed uh, uh, because of the ACA, and, and that is all true. Um, but you know, connected with that, there are a lot of voices that, that, that and I, I touched on it earlier. There are a lot of voices that want to that want to have single payer in this country, Medicare for everybody, because Medicare really kind of. Works pretty well. Um, and, and, and the truth is, if that came up for a vote in the, the U.S. House, I would vote for that. Well, I would. Would you co-sponsor? Um, uh, but the problem is that um, uh, that would cause a lot of pain, a lot of upheaval, because as was mentioned, a lot of people are employed processing health insurance claims um, from the way it's done now. So. Um, that, there's a trade-off with everything, um, but beyond that, uh, that's another place we talked about money and politics. Um, look, there, there are companies that will push back on uh, protections and regulations that don't like, uh, you know, the clean streams rule, or they don't like this rule or that rule because it annoys them and it drives their prices up a little bit and they don't like that. But when you talk about going to single payer, we're not, a, we're not talking about annoying the private for profit health insurance industry. We're not talk about, talking about making their lives a little harder. We're talking about driving them into extinction. Yes. Yes. And they, that's when the claws come out. Now, now Everybody here, everybody here was around when they were starting to talk about enacting the Affordable Care Act about uh, 10 years ago. And ads came up on TV and it was Harry and Louise right. sitting at the kitchen table right. talking about how this Obama guy is going to prevent us from seeing our favorite doctor, Marcus Welby, down the street with this new uh, cockamamie health care plan. And what was that about? That was about scaring Americans away from Obamacare. And it worked. Everybody went out of their minds when they passed it. You know, these town halls, they weren't all so friendly for Democrats then. Uh, and there was a lot of shouting and screaming from all the people that said, you know, what about Harry and Louise? They're right. I want to keep my doctor and all of this stuff. Um, so what I'm... ECA, but against Obamacare. So what I'm saying is that if if we if if we have a, if we move towards single payer, it's going to be the same thing all over. Again. I happily give up my job if that means everybody could have health care. <laughs> what a guy! What a guy! The best countries in the world all have it. The top countries in the world with the highest standard of living have all of it. What are we doing? We're 19th in the world. I go to 20. Why? Uh, I also want to talk another, another I, want, I want to add another piece about this that I like about the Affordable Care Act and the, that I like about having more and more people insured because it's a smarter way to spend money. One thing, you know, was mentioned that other countries, how they do it in other countries, and, and, and one thing that studies show consistently, we spend way too much money on health care in this country, way too much. Now, uh, and why is that? Well, one example is the uninsured. Remember I talked about the people that show up at the emergency <laughs> rooms without insurance? Well, how does that happen? They're all individual stories, but let's say there's one story. There's somebody at home chopping tomatoes up, and they, sli they, they take a good slice out of their, their index finger, and it's a deep cut. But, but they don't have insurance, so, you know, they put some Neosporin on it, and they put a Band-Aid on it, and, uh, and hope that's going to work. Uh, but, the, but, you know, the, uh, 12 hours later, this thing is really throbbing, and, and so they start popping, uh, you know, aspirins and, and uh, uh, ibuprofen, and, uh, and they, uh, but then another 12 hours goes by, and it's starting to turn colors, and uh, it's really throbbing, and they can't sleep. And they think, well, you know, I don't have insurance, um, but I get paid at the end of the week, so you know, I'll have some money and go go to the doctor then. But you know, a, a, another day goes by and it turns from green to black, 
and it's moving up the finger and, all, and it's absolutely excruciating and they don't have any choice. They go to, the, where do they go? The emergency room. They go to the emergency room and this person is in full gangrene and goes, and goes to the, the emergency room and, and a, an alert uh, medical person picks this up, uh, calls in the orthopedic surgeon consult and that finger gets chopped off to save their lives. So you end up with a person who loses a finger, ends up with about a $30,000 hospital stay, okay? Instead of what? If they had coverage the whole time, they would have gone to the family doctor who would have stitched them, up, stitched them up right, would have put them on antibiotics, and nipped the whole thing in the butt. Why do we spend money like this? In, in part, it's because we allow so many people to go uninsured. So I, I tend to agree that uh, if a single payer came up, uh, I would vote for it and uh, uh, darn the consequences.